Okay, so what we're going to be doing today is installing a server on our desktop computer. Um, this can be very convenient if you're a web developer that needs to test uh, HTML or PHP or CSS code. And this way you don't have to FTP it up to another server in order to test it. So, the first step is going to be to open the web browser and go to the official XAMPP website. So, the name of the program we're going to be using is called XAMPP. So, it's X-A-M-P-P. -P. Just a simple Google will bring up some results. The first one should be Apache Friends. So, go to their website. Uh, if you scroll down a little bit, you can see a link that says XAMPP for Linux. So, go ahead and click on that. And it'll bring you to this page. So, if you scroll down a little bit more, you'll see the installation four steps. Just uh, click on step one link and come over here and download the latest version. So it'll bring you to SourceForge and then you save the file. Uh, for convenience pur purposes, I've already actually downloaded this. So. So, go look at the file and uh, go ahead and right click it and click extract here. So we'll just wait for this to extract. And when it's done, it's going to extract all the data out of the archive. So it's going to be a folder called LAMP. So in order to put it where we need to, we're going to have to go and open a terminal. You can usually do this by going to applications, accessories, and terminal. The command that we're going to need to do is going to be sudo sudo space nautilus, n-e-u-t-i-l-u-s space forward slash. Go ahead and press enter. After you enter your password, if you have to enter it, then it will open up this browser with a bunch of folders that you have no idea what they are. Uh, the one that we want is going to be called OPT, so go ahead and double click that, open it up. Um, now what we're going to do is we're going to take the LAMP folder that we just extracted from the archive we downloaded, click and drag it onto the OPT folder. It's a fairly large file at 181.4 megabytes, so just wait a little while while it copies it. Okay, so once it's done copying, we're going to take a look at the file. Go ahead and right click it and go to properties. So once you've opened the properties dialog, we're going to come up here to the top permissions tab. So go ahead and click on the permissions tab. It'll bring you to a list of this stuff. So what you're going to do is you're going to change the folder access to create and delete files, all three of them. And then you're going to go file access, you're going to go read and write. On all of them. And the last one, we're going to check this box. You may have to click it a few times to get it to check. Make sure it's checked. Then come down here and click Apply Permissions to Enclose Files. Okay, that'll reset everything here since it's a folder and technically it doesn't have file access things. That was just for the purposes of applying it to the internal folders. So, we're going to go to the down and press close. And now our next step is to test it out. So we're going to come here, Applications, Accessories, and Terminal. Open our terminal again. And this time the command is going to be sudo forward slash opt forward slash lampp forward slash lampp space start. If you go to the website webmalt.com, they have it listed there. Um, or they should have it off to the right here on the information about the video. So go ahead and press enter. Enter your password for your user and right here. Alright, we can see that XAMPP has been installed correctly. That's going to be the end of the first part of this tutorial. To see part two, go ahead and click the link in the video description that says part two. Or you can head over to webmalt.com to see the video in its entirety. Thanks. If you like the video that you see here, you should also check out the other videos that we have on the YouTube Webmalt channel. 
Hey, DZ3 here. If you're interested in learning a bit more about technology, you should head over to webmall.com. It's a website that me and my friends created to help you learn more about technology. Check it out.